So now that the parent file is in the cloud, we should also take a look to see how to download a sync child to work on it locally. Well, I've already got this file downloaded to my desktop. And if I go to the view menu and select user list, we can see that currently no other users are in this file. However, to demonstrate the download from the cloud, I'm actually going to switch over to a remote desktop and use my sample staff member Gary Adams to open up a sync child copy of the Caseware Zone client from the Caseware cloud. Now before I do this, let's just check our options here because I want to know where this file is going to be stored. And that's found in my default pass. When we're using the SmartSync version of Working Papers, we have an additional SmartSync path available to us and we can point this to any directory that we might need to store our sync child copies when we create them. I'm going to leave this on my default data directory, which is on my local drive. However, any drive that you have access to, you could download your sync child copies to that particular drive. And I'm going to click OK to keep those properties. Now, I'm already on the open dialog, and you can see that I've already highlighted Smart Sync Server. So it's providing me with a list of files that are available to Gary Adams. I'm logged in as Gary Adams in this instance. Uh, at the time that he clicked on SmartSync Server. So if we look through here, we'll note that Caseware Zone is not listed. But I do have a search feature and I do have a refresh feature. So I'm going to hit the refresh button first. And sure enough, Caseware Zone appears. Now if I want to just sort this out, I can go Caseware and see what comes up. And that will do a quick search for me. I could search on year or any other property that I might need uh, to access that particular file with. So once I've got this file selected, I can then download it by either double clicking on it or pressing the enter key. I'm going to double click. And here you can see, as I mentioned, Gary Adams, my sample staff member, is now downloading a copy of that sync file from the cloud into his environment. And immediately, Gary is online with the file. He can see that I'm also in an online sync session in this file. And if I go back to my file in the background, we can also see that Gary is now in an online smart sync session as well. So any change that I make will sync through the parent file in the cloud down to Gary, and any change he makes will do the same for me. For example, let's bring Gary back up here and look at the inventory. If he signs off on the lead sheet here for inventory, his initials go into that document. And if we come back to my file, we can see the Gary is signed off here, opening the document, we can see Gary's initials and today's date. It's that fast. 